Okay, hey guys, so this is something I've wanted for a while. Um, it's a Famiclon, if you can't tell. So that's like a bootleg Famicom. Um, oh, I got this in the UK. That's where I live. But I got it from Cash Converters, I believe it is. Oh, I didn't pay 49.99, I think I paid about 30 quid for it. Um, I actually paid 40 in the shop because I got a broken DS as well. Um, I only really got off the Game Boy slot. But yeah. Um, so I've always wanted a Famicom, just because I don't really get to see the point of me getting a uh, Famicom itself. More so because I have the original NES, um, I have one of these cheeky bad boys, and I've got the NES Classic, which is also hacked. But I did want a Famicom, or at least a clone, which had a good likeness to the original, um, to be part of the collection. So that's why I got this. Um, got some other things to go alongside with it, but we'll come to them later, but just to show that I'm not joking, there's some cartridges, and it seems to be quite hard to get a hold of these days, and there's the Famicom adapter. So yeah, let's look at the box. So FC Compact, uh, vintage, so it says there's what, 88 games built in, and a cartridge, uh, 30 year anniversary, what's that say at the top there? I have no idea. So yeah, that's the front. So you got you know, 88 games. Um, unlike the Famicom, it's a four button one, so you've got your turbo fire. Uh, can't tell what that's supposed to be. Maybe the audio video, I don't know. And the cartridge on the side, just the red bar and the FC Compact Vintage. Which is pretty much the same all around, although I do like the, the artwork being blended in. Um, console itself on the back just a white box so yeah this has been opened mine was the um, last one in the store uh, it was a display console as well so it has been opened um, I don't know if that explains some of the slight damage that I will mention and I have turned it on to play it once just to test if it does work so yeah here's we get in the box so we have the cartridge which is 132 in one um, I can't read Chinese myself so I don't know if there's any duplicates, I'm not really going to go through the entire the cartridge design. Um, on the back of that, so this is the cart that comes with the console. So, just put it there a second. And two other cartridges, again. Famicom clone cartridges. Same sort of build. Uh, this one has the Cool Boy logo on. Uh, I sincerely doubt we're going to get Resident Evil 5 on here. Um, but, uh, 400 games, I'm guessing. And this one is 150 in one. Um, yeah, that's clearly not going to happen. I've got Mega Man, Batman, Kirby, Turtles, is that Adventure Island or whatever it's called? I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, G.I. Joe, uh, I can't think of the name of that one to mind. Oh, that's quite a famous one as well from an anime. Is that Castlevania? And obviously Ghostbusters. We'll have a quick flicker. I'm not, like I said, not going to review only, just so I could test more games on there. Obviously I got this now. The only NES game I own at the moment is the Everdrive, so it's just to test that it plays that. Which, spoiler alert, it does. But yeah, let's get this cartridge out of the way then. Right, um, let's see if I can lift this out. Yeah, Cable City. Right, let's start with the, uh, the damage that I mentioned briefly. So the controllers are very reminiscent of the Famicom ones, again the turbo buttons, so instead of being two buttons that way you got two right there and there. But yeah, see so it's uh, got the cable in showing. What I found this controller, I mean the build quality is quite alright for it being a Chinese knockoff. Um, the D-pad is terrible. Um, on this one I found the D-pad to be unresponsive at times, whether that's because of the explored cabling, which I sincerely doubt, but yeah. Um, it uses the what is it the nine pins is that what they call it yeah like um, which was used on like the microcomputers in the UK as well as like the Sega Genesis and I think Master System so it's not true to the Famicom like the Famicom's controllers are built into the console as far as I'm aware uh, the second controller which um, actually works fine there's no there's no problems with this one but yeah I think that D-pad feels even feels a bit better The only downside is like where the cable comes out, like it's a bit awkward, like I find holding it like that to be the best sort of way. 
But yeah, and it's missing the microphone that the, um, the original Famicom has. Yeah, making a mess. Cabling. So this is basically how it came when I bought it in the UK. Some very cheap uh, composite cables. Very cheaply built. This is the job at the end of the day. And an AC cable. Which again, very cheap build. I don't think this would have uh, made it past checks in the UK to be honest. Right. So, the console. Now I've got to say, for being a bootleg, that looks damn near beautiful. Like quite close to the original, but it's not like a cheap plastic mold. It feels quite decent. Uh, obviously that's the, the main issue with it being the original. The eject button, so flip it up, see the throttle. Uh, reset, I think. Turn the power on and off. Uh, no space to sync up to the um, Famicom disc adapter as far as I'm aware, but again, this is only myself as part of the collection. Input, output, out. If I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but the NES just has the video one, video on one, output audio. I don't know if this is just for sure. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice little clone and it does the job just as well. Like, uh, so on the Famicom, the, car the controller is like side sliding sitting there. Like I said, I think it looks pretty good for it being a clone. Obviously there is a manual in there. So let's get the box out of the way. And as per usual, the manual is in Chinese. And it feels like it's made of uh, the tissue roll paper holder. Oh, we've got some, uh, some English here. Or um, there's probably some English, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to dive into it. That's only showing two cables going in. It's quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Um, sort of. So yeah. I was going to do like some high quality capture of the punch, but considering it's a bootleg and it's using really cheap cables, I'm most likely just going to point the camera at the TV. Um, so it claims there's 80 games built in, and then there's the 132 in one cartridge, the 400 cartridge, and the 115 one, and then we'll try the NES to Famicom adapter. I'm leaving the stick on to the front. When not in use, obviously I'm keeping this uh, plastic bag, which might be a bad idea. I don't know if that's going to build up static. But either way, it's just a way of keeping it safe. Because since I'm only going to ever use it with this console, I'm going to be keeping it in the box with the rest of the stuff. Uh, I think this is going to be like a bit too top heavy for um, the clone console. It feels really, really nasty. I might. Uh, might plug that in off screen, but it's probably going to be one of the last things I'm going to check on there anyway. Well, that feels like it's in. It's got like a tight, snug fit to it. Um, yeah, that feels like it's going to be really top heavy. Maybe I need to find some, uh, some way to balance it. But yeah. Right, so catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so we're ready to turn on, I guess. Uh, There's probably going to be a lot of glare coming in the room as well, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm using the Player 2 pad just because it's like I said, it's the higher quality of the, of the two. I um, don't quite know how I'm going to get this in shot. It fills the entire screen, which is a little bit of an issue. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pause again. I'm going to see if I can try and do something about the lighting. Okay, that's probably the best I can do for lighting wise. Uh, so this is what happens when you turn the console on with no games in. Um, just set the Chinese menu or the English menu. Obviously I'm going to want English. Okay, um, 501. 
that's different from what the packaging said. Uh, didn't it say it was 88? All right, so Adventure Island, uh, Rockman, Turtles, Turtle Fighter. I always played Donny when I played this, just to get further reach. Well, I normally played like the arcade version or the Mega Drive version. Do -do 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 -do. I've seen that company name before, is that the company that did the, um, the bootleg Pokemon? So we got Mega Man's, I don't know if they're all real. Dragon Fighter? What the hell is that? Ninja Turtles again, one and two. Was a fourth Ninja Turtle again? Oh, that's the fight again. Contra, Final Mission, Super Mario Bros. So this one looks like it's got all three of the original Mario Bros. Uh, Spot 27, it's got Dr. Mario as well and the Mario Bros. Ninja Guidance, that's quite cool. Castlevania, I'm shit at Castlevania. Double Dragons, Adventure Island, Kirby. G.I. Joe, Robocop 1 and 2. Uh, I can't, is that one of the Space Sheriff games? Batman 1 and 2. Chippendale, Tiny Toon, Kickmaster, Terminator. Flintstones, apparently that's like a really good game, or at least the rare game. I don't know, never played it. There's that uh, game I couldn't quite recognise, Captain Sebastian or something. Silver S Surfer? What the fuck? Darkwing Duck? Lion, Lion King? I thought that was only on the 16-bit uh, generation. Captain America? Darkman? Cool. Wacky Razors? Jurassic Park? Oh sweet, that's one of my favourite games on the uh, NES, if it's the picture telling the truth. SD Gundam, although that's a picture of Ultraman. Nin uh, Samurai Pizza Cats, Monster in my Pocket, Pizza Cat. Man, this garbage is class. Punisher again. Was that Bucky or Hair? Jesus. Mighty Final Fight. Aladdin, Ultraman, John and Jerry, Goonies, Big Dog, Donkey Kongs, Ice Climbers. Holy shit, this guy is fucking awesome. Sight Bank, Cross. Hey, I know some of these games were on the other characters as well, but for it being only 150 games in the one car, that's if they all work. I don't know what the serial number kind of thing is at the bottom, that's just, just like someone's tag. Um, what did I want to test? Oh, 
Apparently this wasn't released in America. It was only released in Japan and UK. Seems to be playing at quite uh, normal speed. Oh man, this game is so cool. This should have been the uh, the main Ghostbuster release game. I, I've got this on my NES Classic. I play it whenever I get a chance to. It's just so fun. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead again. Just because I play it doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Turbo might be a good idea for this game. Yeah, we're gonna come off it and move on to the next car. So that was um, a pretty good car. But yeah, switching carts out again. Once it comes off, now we're like, gonna probably be ejecting it. So now we're on to this one. There we go. Ugh, no good. That's better. This one doesn't have as good presentation as the other ones. Um, I'm expecting duplicates. Final Fight 2? No, it's not going to be Final Fight. Ghostbusters. Ladder 3. Tetris. Small Mario. I don't think there's anything I really want to like test on it, which is quite boring. Just pop out of there. Wolverine? No, I'm not. I'm just I mean, we'll keep going. Jackie Chan? Dark one again. Fuck your hair. It's quite cool. Man, there's a lot of games. Hmm. 400 freeze, there's more than the 400. Which is a bit strange. That noise is really annoying. I'm so sorry. Pikachu. Carmen. Uh, forgive me. What the hell? So 
so it's like just falling Tetris. Pretty sure that Pikachu sprite is ripped from um, Pokemon Yellow. Well, I may pick a drop of you, boy. Right, so now I'm gonna try something that I don't think is gonna work. So, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I don't trust. Well, that was uh, surprising. So it took a couple of goes, but it did start to boot. I don't know which version to get to boot. Just boot that. Oh, well, now it's playing Jetman. Ach, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it's quite a bit of corruption going on there. But yeah, um, it's working. It took a lot of hassle to get working. It's one of the best of the uh, early Super Sentai games. Oh. In fact, I like balance the console on my knee and keep my finger on the cartridge to keep it in place. So I do need to get a shell for the, uh, the adapter. But yeah, it works. So overall, yeah, quite pleased with that. Uh, I sound like it's just going to get packed away and go in a box now for a long time. But you know, that uh, reset itself, whether that's a glitch, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.